the new era of DFT, the triumph of Thai tapioca. Tapioca, the magic plant that's changing the world. Tapioca is a magic plant because every part from its roots, stems and leaves can be used and processed into countless products we consume in daily life, many of which few of us are even aware of. You find tapioca products in everything around us, from toothpaste, plywood, paper, and adhesive, to sweeteners used in food industry, such as in canned fruit and jam, in monosodium glutamate, candy, chocolate, non-dairy creamer, and ice cream, pastries, psycho and vinegar. It is also used in bioplastics, biodegradable packaging, and fuel, such as ethanol. Tapioca is an important economic crop, generating more than 100 billion baht in export revenue for Thailand each year and creating jobs for more than 500,000 farming households. The amazing journey of tapioca starts on a tapioca plantation. After harvest, the roots can be processed into tapioca starch and modified starch for direct consumption as a staple food. Tapioca chips, pellets, and residue pellets can be processed and used in many industries and mixed with animal feed. Today, I show you how tapioca chips, pellets, and residue pellets are produced and why tapioca products from Thailand is regarded as high quality by consumers around the world. Let's go! Tapioca chips is the simplest form of tapioca processing. After cleaning, the roots will be chopped into small pieces and sun dry for 3 to 4 days. After they are completely dry, tapioca chips are collected and delivered as raw materials to animal feed industry or form manufacturing into tapioca pellets. Tapioca pellets are another popular form of processing. They are produced by compressing tapioca chips under heat with pressurized equipment, turning them into more dense tubers of 2 to 3 cm in length. Tapioca residue pellets are the byproduct of the tapioca industry. They are obtained from processing residue during the extraction of starch from the roots. These tapioca wastes are then dried and pelletized. Tapioca pellets have high nutritional value including protein, fiber, mineral, and starch, making them an ideal source of energy for animal feed. Moreover, they are easy to transport and export. Why are Thailand's tapioca ships, pellets, and residue pellets so unique? And how can the industry contribute to environmental sustainability? We have the answer for you from industry experts. Producers of the tapioca chips and pellets are the feed mill and farm that they use the tapioca to be the ingredient in feed formula for swine, poultry, cow, beef cattle. And the second one is the fermentation industry like alcohol, ethanol, such as acids. But some of the industry, they use tapioca chips to produce flour. But the main market for the tapioca chip is for export. We export to China, South Korea. We export 99% to China and the other to the other market. We export tapioca pellet to Japan, to China, and now the Netherlands. ตัวมันสำหรับของประเทศไทยเนี่ยเราใช้ในอุตสาหกรรมอาหารสัตว์มาตรฐานของเราเราก็มีทั้ง GMP และ HACCP นะครับซึ่งเป็นมาตรฐานสากลนะครับซึ่งเราใช้มีความปลอดภัยค่อนข้างสูงเรามีเชื้อแป้ง 65% นะครับโดยน้ำหนักแล้วก็มีเปอร์เซ็นต์เยอะใหญ่ไม่เกิน 5% ส่วนทรายก็ไม่เกิน 3% จุดแข็งของมันเม็ดนี่ก็คือ1เรื่องสิ่งแวดล้อมนะครับเราไม่มีปัญหาเรื่องฝุ่นเวลาขนถ่ายเนี่ยก็จะไม่ค่อยมีฝุ่นนะครับก็อยากจะให้เชื่อมั่นนะครับว่าในผลิตภัณฑ์มันสำหลังของประเทศไทยเนี่ยมีความปลอดภัยแล้วก็มีความสะอาดนะครับไม่ว่าจะเป็นตัวมันเส้นหรือมันอัดเม็ดหรือกากมันสำลังอัดเม็ดนะครับตัวนี้ได้รับการยอมรับมีการใช้กันอย่างแพร่หลายในประเทศไทยมานับ10ปีแล้วนะครับนอกจากคุณภาพมาตรฐานแล้วไทยมีชื่อเสียงที่ดีในเรื่องของการส่งมอบสินค้าโดยไทยส่งออกพนมหลังมากกว่า1ล้านตันภายใน1เดือนผู้ซื้อจึงมีความมั่นใจได้ว่าจะได้รับวัตถุดิบที่มีคุณภาพปริมาณครบถ้วนตรงต่อเวลาแน่นอนครับ We have brought you to see how the industry makes use of tapioca chips, pellets, and residue pellets for human consumption. But how about for animal feed? Let's find out from the expert. Tapioca or cassava 
is uh, one of the basal feed ingredients. Tapioca have very low contamination of the mycotoxin. That really uh, also improves the, the health of the animal. Tapioca also have a hydrogenic acid. This toxin really improves the immunity of the animal. So animal that eat on tapioca feed uh, always have a, a very good health and that really help the farmer to minimize the use of the antibiotic in the animal production. Tapioca also reduce the smell of the animal manure, uh, especially in pig. And uh, tapioca can reduce the cost of the animal production. Now that you have seen the production of tapioca chips, pellets and residue pellets, what do you think? We're sure you're impressed by the high quality control and standards while taking environmental concerns into consideration, meaning Thailand is always ready to deliver to the world market. Please follow news and update from the Department of Foreign Trade through these channels. From the Tapioca Plantation, MC Game Atit Meg Agad, host of today's program, saying goodbye for now. Thank you.